Welcome to this comparison video of three violins by different makers, all based on models by Guarneri del Gesù. My name is Eric, and I am a violinist and one of the founders of My Luthier, where we specialize in finding today's best contemporary instruments, and we bring them to our London show. Guarneri del Gesù violins are some of the most sought after instruments in the world of classical music. They're known for their beautiful and rich sounds, as well as exquisite craftsmanship. Actually, makers have been modeling their own instruments after Guarneri del Gesù for centuries now, precisely for these qualities. In this video, we're going to explore the differences between three Guarneri models that we have here in front of us and show how even instruments that are made from similar models can sound very different. I'm going to introduce each violin, play on it, and provide some background on who made it. Whether you're a musician, a music lover, or you're just curious about the world of classical instruments, I hope you'll enjoy this comparison video and gain new appreciation for the unique qualities of each of these beautiful violins. Let's dive straight in. So first, we have this very beautiful violin by Master Luthier Edgar Russ, who is a very established violin maker in Cremona. Uh, we actually chose this violin last year. It was one of our favorites. Um, but it was made in 2014. This is based on the beautiful Guarneri Sington from 1744. And as you can see, it has all the characteristics of that violin. The uh, shape of the body and the shape of the F holes are quite unique and quite unusual. In terms of sound, this is one of my favorite violins. It is a very soloistic, powerful, rich sound, allows the player a lot of freedom and feels quite limitless in terms of its potential. The second instrument we have here is a 2003 a uh, Guarneri model violin by Greg Elf. Uh, Greg Elf is from the US. He's one of the most famous makers making today. And he used to work very closely with Joseph Curtin, another US-based maker. Together, they made instruments for various esteemed musicians such as Isaac Sturton. They actually held the auction record um, for most expensive contemporary violin ever sold at auction for quite a long time. Uh, this particular violin has a really, really beautiful one-piece back. And the sound of the instrument is very dark, open, it's powerful, it's rich. It feels like it can envelop a whole concert hall. Our third and last instrument is a 2010 violin by Cremonese maker Alessandro Di Matteo. Um, it has a very typically Cremonese varnish, which you can see by it's quite straight and it's very translucent. This violin was actually held by a private collection for about a decade, and it is now looking for a new coin. The sound of this violin is very um, bright, it is very powerful, it's quite a, quite a soloistic instrument. It could easily cut across an orchestra or chamber music, and it's definitely that, that brighter sound quality. So it's time to listen to these violins, and the first one I'm going to start with is the 2014 by Edgar Russ. This is a very rich violin, it's a very soloistic and powerful violin, and as soon as you start playing on it, you feel like the possibilities are endless. So as you can see, it has very powerful E string, very powerful G string, and overall just a very impressive violin. Now the second one we're going to sing is the 2003 violin by Greg Elf. This is also a very impressive and very open and powerful, but it's a slightly different type of sound. It's a bit darker and it's a bit wider. Also very nice to play on. The last violin we're going to have a look at is the 2010 violin by Alessandro Di Matteo. This is probably the brightest violin out of the three of them. It projects extremely easy and has and focuses a lot on the E string and the upper end.
also very impressive and very easy to play on. The point of this video is not to discourage you from looking at Guarneri model violins. It's more to show you that there's as much variation between different Guarneri models as there is between a Guarneri and a Strad or a Strad and a Guadagnini model violin. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these violins and if you had any preference. Um, we do have longer videos of each of these violins on our website at mylithia.co if you're interested. Um, if you like these videos, let us know and we'll keep on making them. Otherwise, if you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to comment or ask them and we'll try to get back to you.